Xiaolongbao is a type of Chinese steamed bun baozi, from the Jiangnan region, especially associated with Shanghai and Wuxi. It is traditionally prepared in Xiaolong, which is a kind of small bamboo steaming basket, which give them their name. Xiaolongbao is often referred to as a kind of dumpling, but should not be confused with British or American style dumplings, nor with Chinese jiaozi. They are also called a soup dumpling because they are filled with hot soup and must be eaten carefully. In Shanghainese, they are also sometimes known as Xiaoan Modu or Shaolong-style mantos as Wu Chinese-speaking peoples use the traditional definition of manto, which refers to both filled and unfilled buns. Origins Shanghai-style Xiaolongbao originated in Nangshang, a suburb of Shanghai in Jiading district. The inventor of Xiaolongbao sold them in his first store in Nangshang next to the town's notable park, Gui Garden. From there the Xiaolongbao expanded into downtown Shanghai and outward. Wuxi-style Xiaolongbao is sweeter than Shanghai-style. Two specialist Xiaolongbao restaurants have a particularly long history. One is Nangshang Manto Dian, Nangshang Bun Shop, which derives from the original store in Nangshang but is now located in the Yu Garden area. It is famed for its crab meat filled buns. The other is Gulong Restaurant, at the original site next to Gui Garden in Nangshang. Ingredients Chinese buns, in general, may be divided into two types, depending on the degree of leavening of the flour skin. Buns can be made with leavened or unleavened dough. Those made with unleavened dough use clear water for mixing, the skin is thin and the fillings large. It is frequently made in Nangshang but is imitated elsewhere, calling it Shang style. Steamed buns made with raised flour are seen throughout China and are what is usually referred to as manto. Steamed Xiaolongbao made with partially raised flour are more commonly seen in the south. This means that their skin is tender, smoother, and somewhat translucent, rather than being white and fluffy. As is traditional for buns of various sizes in the Jiangnan region, Xiaolongbao is pinched at the top prior to steaming, so the skin has a circular cascade of ripples around the crown. Xiaolongbao is traditionally filled with pork. One popular and common variant is pork with minced crab meat and roe. More modern innovations include other meats, seafood, and vegetarian fillings. The characteristic soup-filled kind is created by wrapping solid meat aspic inside the skin alongside the meat filling. Heat from steaming then melts the gelatin gelled aspic into soup. In modern times, refrigeration has made the process of making Xiaolongbao during hot weather easier, since making gelled aspic is much more difficult at room temperature. Serving Traditionally, Xiaolongbao is a kind of dim sum a la carte item, or Xiaoqi snack. The buns are served hot in the bamboo baskets in which they were steamed, usually on a bed of dried leaves or paper mat, although some restaurants now use Napa cabbage instead. The buns are usually dipped in Zhenjiang vinegar with ginger slivers. They are traditionally served with a clear soup on the side. Around Shanghai, Xiaolongbao may be eaten throughout the day, although usually not for breakfast. They form part of a traditional Jiangnan-style morning tea. Zhao, in Guangdong and the West, it is sometimes served as a dish during Cantonese tea time. Frozen Xiaolongbao are now mass-produced and a popular frozen food sold worldwide. Related varieties The Xiaolongbao is one of kind of Tang Bao. Soup bun or guanting bao, soup-filled bun, another form of tang bao with a differently textured skin but about the same size as the shaolong tang bao, a specialty of Wuhan. Shengjin bao are very similar to xiaolong bao, but are pan-fried instead of steamed. See also References